it's that time of the year again. Yes, I am talking about the holiday season. Today we are jumping on the bandwagon and we're going to be painting a super easy, fast, one stroke reindeer. We did do one last year, but this one is going to be different and honestly, a faster version of it. When it comes to reindeers, it's either a hit or miss. Either you feel confident doing it or sometimes you see so many ideas on Pinterest or on Instagram and you kind of want to apply all of them together on one person. And sometimes it sounds great in here. You're like, wow, this is perfect. But then when you actually paint it, it's not that great. We will be painting this design on the face and also on the practice board. This way you can see different angles, both on the face and on the board, and maybe see some things that you missed on one feature or the other. So for all of the new people out there, thank you for, first of all, for subscribing to the channel or happening to check out this video, make sure to subscribe. But um, at the end of the face paint design, all of our designs are also done on the practice board as well. Disclaimer, this is also a mask friendly design. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. Here are the supplies we're going to be using today. First, read through your reindeer with a sponge, a loaded in pearl white or regular white. Start off with sponging the nose, the bridge of the nose, and you're not gonna go above the eyebrow. You're gonna keep it below the eyebrow. Then with a blazon brush, long angle 5 8 loaded with any kind of brown split cake, you're gonna start doing the forehead. As you can see, a little crescent moon, two beautiful pointy ears, and then you got that part done. Once that is done, you're gonna go from the edge of the eyebrow to the edge of the eye on both sides. And you're gonna go from the edge of the eye and do kind of a, a semi-oval around the cheek. If you can tell, this structure is rather similar to the unicorns that we paint because it's very simple, it's very fast, and it's very beautiful. Then with another sponge loaded in a shimmer gold, go ahead and sponge the inside of the ears, the eyelids, and a little bit of the cheeks. With this design, again, it is very fast. You don't need to overdo it with the paint. You don't need to sponge all of the cheeks. You can just do a little bit because that's what this design is all about, about being fast. Then if you like, you can add some beautiful gold glitter. And then with another sponge loaded in a beautiful pearl pink, just do a little bit on the cheeks and then add pink glitter if you wish. It's looking really good so far and you're already done with the base. It's gonna get a lot easier after this. Next, with your Paint Pal Little Drop loaded in Cardinal Red, you're gonna do the nose because this is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. All the reindeers are practically the <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So that's a pretty simplistic. You can add some red glitter if you wanna do that as well. And then when you're still on that color with a number three or number four brush, you're gonna outline your bow and then fill it in. This bow is nothing overpowering. It's very simple, it's nice and small, and it's not crooked or anything. It's right in the center of the forehead because it's going to be your practically your base for your antlers. And it looks super cute as well. Add red glitter if you want. Again, that is totally optional. And I'm gonna go and do a close up of how to do the antlers with any kind of brown split cake that you have loaded with your little drop brush and do the antlers just like this. Now, if you do not have a brown split cake, it is not a problem. You can do it with regular brown. It doesn't really make that big of a difference. Then with a number three brush, you're going to load it either in brown or black if you wish and start to outline your design. The beautiful thing about most brown split cakes is that the outermost color is going to be rather dark. So if you don't have a lot of time, you don't have to outline your design, but it does make it pop just a little bit more. Then with your number three brush loaded in black, you definitely want to use black and not brown. Start outlining your bow. See how simple it is. It is very fast. It's very beautiful and I love it. Here we are using a 
Mark Reed number four brush. This one is my all time favorite for dots. It just makes, in my opinion, the most beautiful dots. And you're going to be doing a lot of those right now because you're going to be creating snow. And when you're doing snow, you're going to be doing like a ton of tiny little dots on top of the antlers and a little bit on the bow as well. As you can tell, you're not overdoing the snow. You're keeping it very simple, but it is a beautiful detail to add if you have the time. With that same brush you're going to do multiple different sizes of dots on the cheek area right on the edge and again you do not want anything here to be overpowered so you're not doing a lot of dots you're just doing a few with the same brush or with the number three brush load it in white and do your highlights like i say in every single video highlights are so important so so important and then with that same brush loaded in black add some cute little eyelashes look how cute that is it just makes the eyes pop that much more and lastly we're going to be adding some beautiful vivid glitter for those that have been on this channel more than once you know i love vivid glitter and here we're using the color harvest i was testing with gold and, and gold looked nice it's a very safe color but this harvest has gold it has orange it has a little bit of yellow and it just it just works with this design and i was kind of shocked but if you have this color use it for this design it is so stunning and you are all done it is very fast very easy and when one person sees it everyone wants it now we're going to do the exact same design on the practice board
And that is it for today's class. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and share it with other face painters. We also have an Instagram account called Radiant Art Inspirations where we post all of the step-by-steps to almost every single one of our face paint designs. And we also have a TikTok where I share all of my crazy face painting stories. And there's a lot of them. That is it. I will see all of you guys next time. Bye-bye.